I'm chasing myself now, man. This is trippy as shit. Yes. Welcome back today guys, Gran Turismo 6, once again, back on the channel. We did a couple seasonal event episodes last week, they did fantastic, I really enjoyed the way that they turned out, so I wanted to do some more today. There was a few more seasonal events that I have not done, specifically starting us off with the Autumn Rain. Now of course we're going to have the full wheel cam out for today, so I'm pretty damn hyped, you guys know how much I've been really loving the wheel cam, so I don't want to stress it any more than it already is. But, uh, I mean, the biggest thing I can say is if you would like to keep seeing Gran Turismo 6 on the channel, don't forget to slap that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the event that we're going to be doing today is the Autumn Rain course once again. Now, it's a three-lap course. We have a couple that we're going to be doing today, so it's not, you know, just going to be this one because we did run this a little while back. That's why I kind of just want to jump right into this. I am driving an 03 G35 sedan. I know what you're thinking, man. Slap, what's with all the damn VQs of these episodes? Hopefully, you guys don't mind. I saw in the recommended cars or the typical opponents I uh, did have the G35 sedan down below so I figured I'd build mine up uh, we threw in suspension parts brakes we threw in I believe a stage 2 and a ECU into this and then just brought back the power a little bit so I think this thing is sitting currently right now with I want to say around 350 how much horsepower 306 horsepower on that stock VQ35 um, so it's gonna be pretty damn fun I'm driving the sedan version which is an, always a nice change up usually we're always driving you know the coupes and all that but I personally love the sedans in their own way you know just the way that that looks you know if you can slam these things they look fantastic man there's a whole slew of you know Instagram pages out there that I follow that just non-stop showcase you know G35 sedans all that stuff right so I mean they, they do look very damn good if they are done right now we're just gonna leave this stock I'm not touching anything about this I just want to make sure that my traction is off we got ABS set to 5 which is personally the way I like it now as I said we've already ran this before so this is gonna be you know not a new thing but we're gonna hopefully bring home first place man. that is my plan right now and I think I can do it man. I'm feeling confident you know this game has really given me the control that I need now with the shifter and all that so should be interesting ladies and gentlemen Gran Turismo 6 not Turismo Turismo some of you guys are calling me out on that I watch it back I wonder to myself what the hell I was saying man but Gran Turismo 6 I got it. don't worry what's with all this damn extra long damn cutscene thought I was gonna be driving a long time ago out here watching the computer drive around man Oh shit, I was in first gear. That is not okay. That that's not the greatest way to start off a seasonal event in first gear, man. Oh my god. And then we gotta watch this guy come around the whole track again. Okay. This time we got it. I wasn't even recording on the wheel cam last damn run, so thankfully we did, because that would have been terrible. Three laps gone, and I would have been uh not even recording, man. It would have been a shit show. And here we go. Three laps here. It should be pretty interesting. Personally, this is a very nice track. Um, and if you can really just, you know, take these higher lines, uh, you should be okay. Now, running into that stupid neutral issue where I can't find the gear. Now, if I can slide this thing, I think I'm going to, man. This track, oh yeah. So it's more or less a drifting seasonal event without the word drift in it. I just put it in there myself, man. I feel like I can do that. Woo! Now, I know... You guys can't really see the best in this first person style. Sorry, sorry, my dude, but that was mine. And, you know, I definitely agree that it is a little bit harder to watch, but if you're looking at the wheel with the gameplay, I feel like it is a, ah, oh, I feel like it's a doable situation. Yes, you can only see the front hood, but the wheel does really showcase where I am in the corner with the rear end and all that too, right? So, I mean, as long as you can follow along, should be okay. Let me know what you guys think in the... Oh, jeez. Every time I downshift, I lose her. We're sliding it. Oh, just full power up that hill, man. No problems. Now. Okay. So, I can't shift. Uh, 
My shifting is at an all-time low right there. Like, that was terrible. I'm not going to heel toe anymore, because that's what I've been doing, but it's been screwing it up. And then we hit the wall. That's, that's a beautiful... Oh, and then I can't get into gear. What is happening, man? Oh, my God. I'm so used to, you know, every other game allowing me to go into gear, but... There we go. You just got to be patient. You know, that's the biggest difference that i found from transferring over to Forza to Gran Turismo is the clutch. And, you know, you got to be pinpoint perfect. You got to wait till your RPMs drop to the proper spot and then throw it back into gear with, you know, with a rev match or anything like that. But it is, it is very very touchy and it needs to be perfect which is exactly what it's called man. it's a simulator right i mean it's it's a great game and it really is a great game if you guys have this or if you've been thinking about you know potentially picking it up um i would say do it i mean even if you don't have a playstation 3 and if you are a racing fan um i would say it's great to just you know throw around for hours at a time and just have some fun you, know, you got the online community but i don't I don't think I need to tell you guys this at this point in time, and if you guys are a fan of the channel, you know that, you know, there is a lot of people on this game. We're going to take that inside. Sorry, buddy, but, I mean, we got shit to do today. I'm not, I'm not losing it, though. Don't worry. I know last time we were here, I think we lost it on the last corner. Just, uh, didn't look the greatest, man. It wasn't a good look. Oh! All right, well, we didn't make it in the first time, but I counted it the second time. That's all that matters. I can already see the jokes popping up right now, man. Slap getting it in the second time, not the first, right? I mean, jeez. Always love the comments, though, man. Always. Still see a lot of people comparing this to Forza. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's just something that you really shouldn't do. You know, I've, I've, I've made the mistake, but you know, after really kind of thinking about it, they're two completely different games, man. It's like. Almost talking about Gran Turismo. Oh, jeez, I just did. Grand, it's like talking about Battlefield or Call of Duty. You know what I'm saying? There's just you just can't do that, man. You know, they're two completely different games. And for that point, in fact, that you just really can't base that on there. Now, I gotta say, I am murdering that section right there. That was a beautiful little run. Yes, we're getting it sideways, but I feel like it's like a damn toge almost, man. I'm just killing it. We're gonna find on the lap times, but. I don't know, this G35 is hauling some ass. Especially for a sedan, I was not expecting that. As long as we're not coming out too hard on these, but as long as we're not understeering, which is really the biggest factor, you know, the understeer will kill you for sure. And if you can avoid that, right there, we're good. We got a lot of understeer coming up there. Terrible. That's what I'm talking about, man. The understeer will kill you. I just ate my own words, and this guy's going to pass me. We're good, we're good. Hopefully. Oh no. That last lap lock right there, man. I just gave up so much time on that. It's not even funny. I'm actually really disappointed about that. Damn. We were doing so well on that second lap. And then we just ate shit right there. It's okay though. Hopefully, it'll be respectable. Did we get it? We got a 137. Is that... I don't know what the times were. I really don't, but I feel like I did well. Did I do well, Grand Trismo? Please, man. I did it again. Trismo. Tree. I feel like fatal right now, man. It's Teriz. Goddamn Turismo. Where does that lead me? Come on. Don't let me in the dark. Oh, my God. This game really knows how to tease you, eh? I just ran three laps. Let me see my times, man. No. No. Stop. There we go. Oh. I'm a Gran Turismo new, man. What do you want? I just had to hit start, apparently. Sorry. The, whoa. It, is that a gold? I think that's a gold, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. My God. We got gold. Okay. What was our time, though? It was a 137. What did we need to beat, though? That's a question. Come on. It's not going to show me, eh? All right. Well, let's just go ahead and exit. And go from there. I saw at the bottom there it said R1 to change information. I'm sorry. Alright? I'm sorry. I, I I just didn't see it in time. I know a lot of people think that I have like some vision problems some episodes. I just don't really look around a lot of the time. That is really what it is. We got the Isuzu 4200 R89. Another car I've never heard of. 
looks more like a damn concept, but it does say it's a clearance product. I'm not a fan of clearance products, man. Unless they're chips on for like a dollar, which actually happened to me the other day. I do. Why? Why would I get into it right then and there? I don't want to be driving that shit. But we did finish in first, though. I'm actually really excited about that. I did not think I was going to do that. And I just want to have a quick look at my time because uh, I'm impressed, man. Hopefully you guys are as well, too. If you haven't already, man, maybe that'll leave a like on the video. I don't know. I'm just saying, right? I'm just saying. Where is the leaderboards? All right, well, once again, I think I'm at it again. Um, I don't think that there was a time requirement. It was just literally uh, finishing in first, second, or third. So, uh, congratulations. Well, you know, I just played myself, right? I mean, goddamn. Well, you guys know what's up next, right? Another one, man. We're going to go ahead and do our next up event. Uh, this one I have not tried yet. This is the 500pp four-wheel drive rally car super lap. Now, personally, uh, this was one of the ones I've been really looking forward to, especially with the all-wheel drive. We have our Subaru Impreza rally car, 1999. We're pushing 355 horsepower on this all-wheel drive system, so it should be pretty damn fun. We did have to switch from the rally tires to the sports, and that exhaust clip right there sounded beastly, man. I wish... I wish they sounded like that in the game. Now, let's have a quick look at the online rankings now, because we're actually going against other people for this one. Um, world rankings, and it looks like top times is a 107.1. 107, man. That's crazy right there. Uh, friends have ran it at a 114. So we're going to see if we can at least beat them. Now, we have went ahead and threw uh, pretty much nothing in this car because it is not upgradable after you bought it. So, it is pretty much the way it is. I think maybe I did a couple... Oh, you know what I did do? I think I did engine two and then brought down the engine limiter a little bit. So, I do have a little bit more power than the stock. We'll see how this treats us. I don't know. I've never even ran this course yet. So, this is all going to be a little hectic, man. Maybe a little sketchy, but as long as we can, you know keep the oversteer down um you know just try not to holy shit that thing sounded crazy but just try not to correct as much as possible i think that'll land us in some good predicaments and hopefully you know bring home gold i know i'm way over my head with that man. you see the points that were on there i don't think i've even got that much in my lifetime on grand Turismo. but i got faith though man you gotta have faith in this shit and i got it man i got it here we go ladies and gentlemen we're gonna also be in this hood camera once again um, just to, uh, yeah. Here we go. Is this thing paddles? Oh, there's no shifters. It's only paddle shifting. Okay, well, I didn't know that. We're just gonna run this here just to see. Oh, whoa. That's good, everybody. Damn, that is a pretty hectic corner right there. Oh, show! Sure. That would have been. Here we go. Let's see if we can get a better attempt at this. Now, the biggest thing, though, that I'm finding is the fact that this feels like it's based on your time. Holy oh, shit, that was nice. It's based on your time, not on your point. So, uh, we're going to try to just clear this as fast as possible without getting into too much trouble. Now, I don't know how this is going to fare on some of these tight hairpins. Shit, man, I should have been sliding that. Oh! Holy shit! Starting us off with heavy damn corners here. Okay, we're good, hopefully. No! Right, let's just run this just to see how this course is and just almost get a feel for it. I gotta remember, we're not trying to slide this. And I, it went into my head again, you know, right before I was about to hit the corner. I'm like, hey, let's slide it, get the points. But no, it's it's based on time. And that leaderboard thing was just throwing me off where it said, you know, gold, stuff like that. But I'm an idiot. That's your money. That's how much you get for money. Oh, my God. It's your money, not the damn time. Okay. work that handbrake no come on this is a challenge though and this is you know what i've been waiting for in a game is a challenge and 
this, you know, with the wheel, it feels amazing. It really does. And obviously, you, know, you have to be perfect with the wheel, especially in these rally events. Because obviously, you know, the all-wheel drive is a very difficult drive train to master, especially in a game like this. You, know, you need to be pinpoint accurate on your, you know, your corner ins, your corner outs, and all that. But it is just it's a very fun game, though, to get good at. And, you know, once you do... Alright, I'm feeling good on this one, man. I'm feeling good. Now, usually, I would want to try to get that rear end out, but I feel like just to keep things, you know, up with these guys, that I'm just going to go ahead and drop it down, you know, first gear, get that rear, you know, that massive torque. Just try to just somehow get through these corners, man. These are very tough, especially on the wheel. We didn't touch it, thankfully. Now, this corner will throw you a curveball fast. It's tough, though, because I can't really see because of these guys' names on here, but we're okay, though. Banged out that second gear just a little bit too long. Didn't mean to. Wow. Almost blind coming out of there. That was crazy. Oh, coming around with a 103. I was going to say, if I screw up this corner, this is the only corner that I've done so many times, I'm going to be so upset. Come on, we had a 115 on that shit. Oh my god, we're just going to keep running it, man. Now we got our car in the mix, too. That's dope. I really love the fact that my car is there. Now I can kind of see if I'm ahead or behind mine, and then kind of base my times off of that. No! Oh my god! Just overall drive it the way it was meant to be driven. Here we go, yup, yup. Come on, baby. Look at me back there. I'm way back there. I'm slow as shit, eh? Everybody right now is saying, yep, Slap just realized that, eh? Holy shit, what a run! Look at me back there, man, creeping up my ass! I'm gonna try to take this next set of corners a little bit harder after the first break on the right here. Right here, and then just kind of throw this right into here. I feel like I can make this full throttle, no problem. Oh, I could have made that a little bit more outside, hit the apex properly. But, shit, man, we got a 116.4. What? Was that a bad? Oh, okay, wait, never mind. I was going to say, is that the same lap that I just ran twice? It's like, there's no way that shit just happened. Go. I'm chasing myself now, man. This is trippy as shit. Yes. What? Oh my god, I want to see that next lap. That was dope. So I pass myself on the inside. It's as bad as the other night, man. I was playing my buddy Jay Drifts on some UFC, and uh, we were both being Brock Lesnar, despite the fact that he was not going to be in UFC 2. And the damn announcer just kept making us damn crack off, you know, Brock Lesnar versus Brock Lesnar. It was just the funniest shit ever. But it's the same as, you know, me kind of commentating myself right here. I'm curious if I can kind of, I'm to say, do a better damn lap than the ghost, but... Not gonna happen. We do have a 115, but we cleared that lap, so we're gonna get to see ourselves throwing that down in that one corner. Go ahead, buddy. I'll, I wanna watch you drive here. That's me right there, man. That's me. I'm pumped. 
This is my ghost replay, if you will. It's a little creepy, but it's there, though. This wasn't the good corner. It was the one right after this, I believe. Right here. Shit! All right, well, that's it. We're going to go back, restart, so I can run this one more time, because I'm getting addicted on beating this time. And that's why I love these seasonals, man. You know, they're so addicted. I'm pumped to see the next batch come out. And, you know, there is uh, hopefully going to be some more very soon. I know it's getting into the start of the month, so hopefully we should be seeing some more seasonal events drop very damn soon. But these are so addicting. They give you a ton of cash. And personally, one of my best things to do right now on Gran Turismo, other than obviously driving online, but you guys know what I mean. We're just getting the hang of this shit. Come on, baby. I'm trying to get that rear end just to kick out a little bit, just so I can, you know, then kind of power it through. Just like that. The understeer will kill you, man. You can get a little bit of oversteer, and then just use the throttle just to kind of pull yourself out of it. You're gravy, man. It's gravy. Come here, Neil. Coming for that ass, though. Come here. I'm just kidding. That sounds terrible. We are quite a bit ahead from our ghost, though. If you guys have a quick look on the map. As long as we can take this corner properly, we should be okay. As I say that... Oh! Yes! Shit! Oh my god, 115.3! I don't think I'm ever going to beat that, man. That is just, that is tough as shit. Damn, we'll I'll try our best, though. Just sliding this now for shits and gigs. This thing is so damn fun. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode here on Gran Turismo 6. Unfortunately, I could not give you guys a gold finish, man. Hopefully silver is good enough. We came with 0.300 thousandths of a second. If that's correct, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, man. Correct me, roast me, whatever you like. $330,000 bonus on that. Silver plus bronze. Uh, so that was pretty damn cool. We're at 3.1 million bucks. And we did get that login bonus. So I haven't been logging in every day. I know I keep forgetting to, but I will need to to get that login bonus. We got a supercar lab done. Uh, we got two colors as well, too. Just overall fantastic run here. Um, you know, it's not the greatest time. It's not, you know, a leaderboard time, but we did beat our friends list. I only had two people on that list, but you know what I'm saying. Though, man. My PlayStation friends list needs a cleanup. I will be doing it very damn soon for you guys, but let's have a look at our best replay. I think this is it. I don't know if it's going to be or not, but just a fantastic run here. And, you know, once you got used to the car, you know, once you got used to its power and, you know, where it can be put down, as long as you threw it in a little bit harder, braked a bit, kind of worked that front end out, it was a beautiful car. And that jump, that was good. Well, dope. That was crazy. But just an overall fantastic experience. Of, you know, once again, with the wheel, in all forms of driving. You know, we got drifting on rear-wheel drive feels great. Drifting on all-wheel drive, or, you know, power sliding through the rally courses was just, it was fantastic. And, you know, it feels very comparable to dirt rally, but, you know, it, it has more kind of effect i feel on grand Turismo. and i don't know what they've done with their wheel but they have aced it and i'm very excited for gt7 for gt sport i'm excited for them all man i i don't know is it just me let me know in the comments down below ladies and gentlemen don't forget to slap that like button if you'd like to see another one done leave me your thoughts about the gt7 what do you think they're going to do differently than gt6 as well i've been thinking about that i want to kind of go over that next episode but if you guys are brand new though don't forget to follow me on facebook instagram and twitter all of which are found in the description box down below i think it's hauling some ass man it's a side trade i'm out